Hey, let's make a four-year internal onboard power supply for this sexy beast. All right, this 5,000 milliamp hour power bank was only 25 bucks on Amazon. Very small, as you can see. It has a four-segment LED power meter, a USB Type-C input, output, there we go. Now this thing is capable of nine or 12 volt uh, output due to its power delivery and quick charge uh, compatibility. However, it's probably not going to put that out. It's gonna default to the standard five volts in all likelihood when it's connected to my onboard preamp. Hence, the five volt to, in this case, 12 volt, but you can get these in five volt to nine volt also. This is a step up voltage converter and uh, it tells you here, step up converter cable, five volts to 12 volts. So it'll take the five volts that's coming out of this guy and turn it into 12 volts. Now most onboard preamps can take between at least nine and 18. Some of them could take between nine and 27. So 12 volts should be just fine. But this is a USB type A cable. Uh, that's this input and the output is this power cable. I'm just going to cut this guy off at the head, strip the wires and attach it just like you would a battery. Snip. Before I take this thing apart and break it down to its various component elements uh, to see if I can get it to fit a little bit easier in the control cavity, let's just do a test to see if it works and see if there's any step up converter noise or power supply noise like switch mode power supply noise that gets introduced to the preamp. That will be a good first step. All right, let's solder these bad boys up. Nice and tinned. Open up your magnetic control cavity covers, which your base has, if it's cool. There's the John East Unipre preamp that I'm using and screw terminals. Oh look, you see what I'm doing with some capacitors tuning a voicing of the pickups. Okay, here we go. Okay, this should be super easy to test. This is the thing that I'm holding is the uh, the power terminal, the, the power connection here. Oh, it uses screw terminals on its preamp, which is super convenient. So I'm just going to unscrew the battery clip and, uh, and put the red and black from this guy that I just tinned uh, in there and we'll see what happens. We've got our step up cables, power cables uh, inserted here. It works, but we have a lot of noise. Listen to that. Not so great, gotta filter it out. Well folks, I'm afraid this is a failed experiment. I took that battery and battery charger uh, board out of the casing, 21700 battery. Um, so it's 70 millimeters long, 21 millimeters wide. Holds 5,000 milliamps evidently, but uh, in the process it looks like I killed it. So there's that. And I've got this nice anchor um, power bank that has worked well for me for a long time and does the quick charge thing. So what I did, uh, when I originally hooked this up, there was just too much whine. There was too much interference in the audio spectrum because of the ripple in the DC. So this little guy right here, that little L joint, is a uh, is a power delivery it's a USB-C power delivery uh, decoy jack it, it has a chip in there that basically tells the anchor or whatever power bank you have it plugged into to put out the full actually this one is I think locked to 12 volts uh, so it tells it to put out a higher voltage rather than the standard 5 volts that comes out of a USB power bank or charger um, however even with this guy and I know this is a ridiculous amount of cable, but that's just what was on hand. Um, even with this guy, we get this. A lot of high frequency noise, unfortunately. And I've tried RF chokes, I've tried transformers and really large value capacitors and everything to do like additional filtering, but unfortunately it looks like this one is busted, at least for this preamp. The, uh, the John East Uni Pre preamp is maybe maybe too sensitive for this to, to work or to be effective. All right, next stop is I'm gonna just get a couple of rechargeable nine volt um, power cells that are a thousand milliamps or more and wire them in parallel instead of in series as is typically done. And, uh, and I'm going to connect them to a USB port somewhere on the back of the base for just super easy charging. At least that's the idea.